Hello, today we'll be looking at Roxio Toast 19 Titanium Edition. We'll see how we can put together a nice little easy DVD as well as discuss some of the pros and cons of Roxio Toast 19. So what you get with the package is you can create and burn DVDs or to a DVD image if you don't want it to burn it to an actual DVD disc so that you can easily share it among others and play it on PCs or Macs. You can burn audio CDs rip DVDs to files, create encrypted disks, do screen recordings, create photo art with Roxio Acrylic, as well as do multi-cam recording. Now obviously for most users, especially Mac users, you're going to mostly use it for the DVD image, kind of an iDVD replacement, as there are so many other softwares included with Mac OS or free that you can do most of those other tasks with it. So let's uh, take a look at how we can easily make a DVD. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at Toast 19 Titanium. Um, so if we head down into our launch pad here, we're going to look for this nice little toaster with some DVDs in there. We're going to click on that, open that. First, we're greeted with the home screen. So today, we're mostly going to look at burning DVD. But with the titanium level, we get burn DVD. You can burn an audio CD. You can rip DVDs, create encrypted disks, do screen capture, or create photo art. So it will be up to you if you want to go to the Pro module. You will get some additional items in there. And then up here, we have different ways that we can get. So if we click burn here, if we click burn here, it's going to take us to the same spot, right? So you also have all of these up here. So we're going to burn a DVD. Notice we're greeted with the first sample. On the left hand side, we can look, we can scroll through all of the templates. Now with 19, unfortunately, you can't really make many changes to the templates aside from putting in your media and making drop-down menus. Um, apparently with the update Titanium Name 20, which we will be taking a look at later, you can, in fact, add text and pictures and change the total look of your DVD menus. A little bit similar to the old iDVD, give you a little bit more leeway to design it yourself. So today we're gonna just look at a simple, creating a simple DVD. If we look our right, root menu here. We have two options. We can drop media in here. We can add a drop menu and we can also add an intro video. To create a drop down menu, I just click drop down menu here. It's going to give me the sub menu. I can triple click in there and change the name. I now have two options to continue to add different media to these or to this sub menu, to the root menu, and so forth. So if I look at play and see it in here, notice I have nothing in my screen. You can't drop something in here like the old iDVD you could. So notice in our preview, we can go back we can act like it's a remote. We can go to submenu, but nothing's in here. Nothing's going to enter here until you actually drop in some media, which we'll be showing next. So now we can look at adding our media. So on my desktop, I just have a simple little soccer video here. Very short, but it'll still give us an idea of what we can do. So again, we can just drag and drop something into the intro video. And also, I'm going to drop a media in this submenu. Okay. So let's say if I go to our root menu here, I can change this, right? So once I drop that media in there, it'll add a frame, the thumbnail of that media as the picture automatically. I've not found a way to control it in 19. It seems that you maybe have more control in version 20. So let's say I have formations. I 
and go back to the and now once I click on here I should be able to add chapters So zoom in here. So if you get this little banner thing with the plus, that's going to allow you to add chapters. This is a very short video, so we'll do the chapters every five seconds. Then you can go in and delete after you add them. One, to do it, though, you need to add this little plus. So it automatically creates chapters. It would likely read chapters if you add them with a video program. But I'm just going to add automatically because I don't have any. It's a very short video, so every five seconds will do just to show that now I have six chapters and now I when I go back so I have my main menu I go into formations I go into 442 and then it's going to show me each of those chapters I can name them I do think you do have to worry about with this since you can't really customize it. So let's see what that looks like to see that it's not going over. Let's not keep it for some reason. And then we can change that there. So if it gets a little too long, it's very tough. We'll cut it off so you don't have to worry about the space that you're allowed. It's hard to edit that. And that's it. And again, you can keep on going depending on what it is. So we have the main one. I can go here now if I want to allow that formations I would add different ones there if I now wanted to add something else of another drop down menu I could add another sub menu and then if I go to play this is the intro video which is the same as mine I can then go to the menu so as soon as you open up that disc image or the DVD that intro video will play so maybe a little short little intro to what the DVD is about Notice we have our title, we have our two submenus, one goes to formations, we only have one here, I could add additional videos. I can go back home, submenu, we didn't add any media to this one. So one way we are able to customize our submenus is to add a background image as well as some background music. So we can show you how to do that, we're going to go to our formations submenu. Down at the bottom here we have add background image as well as add music. First, we're going to put a nice little soccer stadium in the background. Secondly, we're going to change our music. Now, when we go back and we check out our player, here's the original. Here's our sub menu. And there you have it. So all the DVDs are on their way out. It's still a nice way to put together a lot of multimedia into one thing. You can add, save it as a disk image. So when you're all done, instead of putting into DVD, we can make a disk image. And then we'll hit save. We can do the standard My Movie, My Movie Toast on the desktop. And we'll wait for that to complete. And then you can just share this disk image, you like, you know, through email, through a shared drive, and then people will be able to get your nice little multimedia presentation. 
working with it with the DVD remotes on any computer, any desktop computer, and you would be able to view them that way. As we wait for our DVD to burn, just want to remind you to visit us at dailyvideography.com for all of your video needs. Again, that's dailyvideography.com. And there we have it. Our disk image is complete. We so now that our DVD is finished burning, we can see that we have a disk image here called mymovie.toast. We're going to double click that. We will see that now our disk image is a disk, which our computer will read as a DVD disk. We're going to show you the playing. We're going to use VLC player to open up our DVD. You can, of course, use DVD player or any other DVD software that you would like to use. Just going to quickly go up to File, Open Disk. It recognizes our DVD disk. We're going to open it. And we can see our menus, our submenus. If we go into formations, we can see our 442 video, and we can see all of our individual chapters. So if you don't already have Roxia Toast 19, earlier editions, or even the 20, which was recently released, um, here's some pros and cons to think about if you want to get it or not. Um, very easy to use. Obviously, we just saw how easy it is to make a DVD. Do get plenty of included extras. While most of them are basic functionality, that should do for most. So if you just need the basic functionality, those included extras are going to be a very big deal, as opposed to someone who's getting more involved with programs, um, for instance, Adobe Photoshop instead of acrylic and so forth. Uh, some of the cons, it is a bit pricey. So obviously at the current price point, um, it is a heftier price compared to some other apps in the App Store uh, for Mac OS, or I'm sure uh, cheaper ones for Windows that may do the job as well. Um, but if you like some of those extras, it would likely be worth it for you. Um, the only problem with 19 and before, you can't customize the text or graphics. Um, so similar to iDVD or the old Adobe Encore, um, to be able to put your text and graphics in it, make it look like you want, uh, can be important to some people. Now, um, you know, this is Roxy Toast 19, so we have not tested Roxy 20 yet. We will be doing that and do a review of that, as well as some additional tutorials coming soon. Uh, so do be sure to like and subscribe and set your notifications on for our channel. Um, but that is included in Toast 20 apparently now. So hopefully they've worked on that and hopefully they're giving the customers what they want with that. Um, and the odd thing is, is that you do have to add media to save. So you're going to want to have all your media created and ready to go once you start to build your DVD and then you'll be able to save it. So if you're just building menus, uh, you can't save it. So I don't know if that has changed in 20 as well. We'll have to check that out and let you know shortly. So be sure to come back and subscribe and like our videos and we'll see you soon.